Welcome to Really Cool Stuff for the Home podcast, sponsored by HomeWorks. And now with today's show on all the ways to improve your home is your host, Denise Sanchez. Hi, Denise Sanchez again, talking about a new category, induction cooking. Now, it really isn't that new. In Europe, they've been, it's pretty prevalent in Europe. For about 30 plus years, they've been using it as an alternate to gas or just plain electric cooking. In the US, we've been a little bit um, longer to embrace this type of cooking. It usually does cost a little more than a regular electric uh, cooking or gas, but there's so many different um, reasons why you wanna go with induction. And nowadays, I am flooded with questions, emails, phone calls, what is induction? Especially since we're hearing so much about the new Propose gas regulations, although I do think as in Texas would be one of the last ones to be dragged down that lane. But there's a lot of reasons why you want to do induction. And I'm going to talk about the pros and I'm going to talk about the cons. And I'm trying to think, what are the cons? I really can't think about Ah, there might be one. Okay. So what are the pros about induction? It is actually faster than gas faster than gas. It's as responsive as gas. So when we're cooking on electric cooktops, uh, one of the things is it takes not only forever for it to heat up and boil a pot of water or sear or whatever, but then when you want to turn it down to any other level than high, it takes forever. And if you want to turn it down on low, low, you have to literally move the pot, right? Well, on induction, it's as responsive as gas. So when you turn it down or turn it off, it's off, just as if you were on a gas cooktop. So there, and and this is what I love the best of all. So when you're cooking on an electric cooktop, if you, it's pretty easy to clean, especially with the new glass cooktops, but should you burn something on that cooktop, man, you've got to put some elbow grease into it and some cleaning compounds to get that off. Um, and then if you don't do that, oh, it's, it's there permanently. You're never going to get it off. You know, you can get razor blades, but again, it's a lot more maintenance and energy you've got to put into it. With induction cooktop, and we'll talk about why, you don't have that happening. Food never burns on it. So even though the cooktop gets warm from transfer of the heat from the actual cooking vessel to the glass, it doesn't get hot enough to burn anything on. So it is a snap to clean. And of course we know about gas cooktops, a little bit more challenging to take everything apart and clean it, um, kind of messy. But induction, it's so easy. A lot of the induction cooktops also have some safety features, such as if you were to boil over, boil dry, like say you cooked, uh, you were cooking something and you completely forgot about it and it just boiled dry, it will shut off. Um, another thing is if there's no cooking vessel on there, it's not going to turn on. So unlike a gas or electric, you have a pot on there or don't have a pot on there, it will, it will turn on and it can stay on, which can be dangerous, right? Well, on induction, that's not the case. So, and, and then another thing is, okay, here's the con, here's the con. Okay, one con. Cooking vessels. You can't just put anything on to a, an, indu an induction. Because how it works is this. So there is, I'm going to simplify it because I don't know all the science technical ways that this works, but I know that it uses a series of magnetic waves that excites the various molecules in the cooking vessel. So you can't use glass, right? That would be a poor conductor of heat anyway. Um, you can't use copper, unfortunately. Uh, it just doesn't, doesn't work. You can use, um, what is it, large uh, oh, iron, iron cookware. It loves, induction loves iron cookware. As long as you have it um, uh, like enamel, enamel on the outside so that you don't scratch your glass cooktop. You know, like like Le Creuset, Staub, there's a lot of, uh, even Lodge has enamel cookware now. Um, it works great. And, and iron cookware, cast iron cookware actually, is having a huge resurgence. So that is uh, another another form of um, 
what you want to use. Now, to me, if you have cookware that's 100 years old, and if you can take a magnet and put it on the bottom and it has a real good stick, you're in business. You're in business. Uh, you can use it. It's just it has to have all that, um, you know, five layer, seven ply, whatever, the various metal um, in it that makes it a good uh, cooking vessel uh, that conducts heat well. You're going to be in business. So the other challenge used to be availability and selection. So you got maybe a 30 or 36 inch drop in cooktop, all glass. Yeah, that was it. Now they have so many options and I'm going to put up some pictures. There are some like Ilvi, like if you want that La Carneau or that real Frenchy look, you can get that with your induction range. There's 30 inch ranges, there's 36 inch ranges, 40 inch ranges, and even Fulgrim Milano has 48 inch ranges. There are cooktops that range anywhere from 30, no, actually from, from 15 all the way to 48 inches. There are ranges now from 30, 36, 40, 48, um, you know, it, different colors, different aesthetics. If you want that European look, you want the pro aesthetic, you always wanted that, but you don't have gas, you can now get that with induction cooking. So I really uh, invite you to look at all the different uh, options for induction. And come in, we have a lot of them in our store. I love selling induction. I'm a bit, big advocate of induction. I like gas, as, you know, fine. I'm not crazy about electric, but um, uh, induction is electric. It is electric. It's just a different way of cooking. Um, so I invite you to come in. I'm going to link a lot of different um, websites that you can go to, you know, in the, in the box below so that you can see for yourself all the different options that there are. So don't uh, be disappointed that all you have is electric cooking. Or I have customers that after l learning about all the different challenges with gas cooking um, and having gas in the home, they have really embraced the idea of bringing induction into their home. And then now with HGTV and the Food Channel, looking at all the chefs, they're, they're using induction cooking. It makes a lot of sense. Check us out at www.homeworksa.com or come into our showroom from 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock Monday through Friday or by appointment on Saturday. Once again, thanks. Homeworks, really cool stuff for the home. We'll make your homework better for you.